shape because you have too much fabric in the back. Too much wrinkling going this way. Right in the back, not in the front. Remember the front is fine. So we're gonna make a narrow back and take out some of that fabric. This is an alteration that most women need, most men do not. Most men need the broad back if we're working with standard industry just because of the way male and female bone structure is different. Um, so we could, if we were using the slash method, we could do the exact same thing that we did to the last one, except instead of having a gap right here, we would overlap the paper, that quarter of an inch, and it would accomplish everything that we're going to do. However, if you look at your paper, you will see that we are going to do the pivot method instead. So this is a totally new method. So on your pivot method, we need to know where our pivot points are in this. We are working right here in the arm's eye and we are making it narrow, which means as we're drawing this paper, we're gonna shift our paper to the one side. So our pivot points are gonna start here and be here and be here, okay? So we're just gonna start tracing our shape and I'm gonna start right up here at the neck. And I'm gonna trace, go down the center back, down across the waist, making sure my duck bill is in there, and up the side seam. And then I'm gonna stop. And I'm going to put my pencil, oh, I'm gonna measure up here on my side seam. I'm gonna measure in a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna just mark that on my paper up here at the top. I am going to do my shoulder seam, making sure my duck bill is where it needs to be. I have not traced any of my arms eye. I'm going to hold my paper still right at the pivot point at the bottom of the shoulder blade. And I am going to shift my pattern piece until the seam allowance lines up with that quarter inch mark I made. And then I'm going to trace the arms eye. Then I'm gonna take off my paper, okay? So now my back through here is narrower than my original was. And it's narrower only through here, not through anywhere else. And we've accomplished the exact same thing as slashing. So for now, you have to put in your seam lines and your markings because you outlined seam allowance. Does that make sense? So I'll take my sloper, then my sloper should fit in here. You can see how we're narrower right through here. So I'm gonna make sure my seam lines are where they need to be for the lower part of it. Trace in my sloper piece. Trace in the dark, cause it didn't move trace in my dart points because they didn't move, but this did. did you show us where the pivot point is again? Yep. Okay. Now right here, my shoulder seam and my dart are not lining up. My original line and my new line are not lining up. So we need to fold the dart in the correct direction use the ruler and true up the seam allowance from original point to original point. An original seam line to original, I mean original cut line to original cut line. Now can you see how I've got this line that is no longer relevant? And this little line that's no longer relevant? I just need to indicate that they are no longer relevant. Can you just zoom in on that? Just right there. Can you see how this line is my original line? And I had to redraft the line and I need you to know that I'm not using that original one. Okay? So, on my pivot points, this is a pivot, this is a pivot, and this is a pivot. That just means our change is happening between those three points. So, I trace from this corner all the way up down, around, around, and stop at this pivot. 
Make sure I mark on my paper however much I'm taking out. And then I'm gonna use this second dart pivot to shift the paper. Does that make sense? Okay, thank you.